time of all the good days in the year upon a Christmas Eve. Old Scrooge sat busy in his counting house. He was cold, bleak, biting, foggy weather. And he could hear the people in the court outside go wheezing up and down, beating their hands upon their breasts, and stamping their feet upon the pavement stones to warm them up. The city blocks had only just gone three, but it was quite dark already. And candles were flaring in the windows of the neighboring offices, like ruddy smears upon the palpable brown air. The door of Scrooge's counting house was open that he might keep his eye upon his clerk, who, in a dismal little cell beyond a sort of tank, was copying letters. Scrooge had a very small fire, but the clerk's fire was so very much smaller that it looked like one coal. But he couldn't replenish it, for Scrooge kept the coal box in his own room. Wherefore, the clerk put on his white comforter and tried to warm himself with the candle. In which effort, not being a man of a strong imagination, he failed. 